it going everybody my name is Mitch and welcome to the channel so I previously made a video on how you can add any 3d model to your pre-existing Vroid model in blender uh, and then again in clip studio modeler uh, which is really cool because you could pretty much add any 3d model you want to your Vroid model um, but there's actually another way you can add stuff to your model um, whether it be hair or custom clothes um, and I found this site called Booth PM. Uh, I found that a couple other YouTubers were doing uh, videos on how to do it, and I thought I might as well uh, do a video as well. So we're gonna search for some custom clothes and some custom hairs, and I'll show you how to install the hairs. That's probably the trickiest part of this. Um, the clothing are pretty self-explanatory, um, but we'll go ahead and do that. Um, so I found if you go to the site and search for just Vroid, um, a decent chunk of stuff shows up. There are paid, there is paid stuff on this site, um, so you can filter it by free. Um, and you do have to have an account um, to download the stuff. Um, so I think I found a really cool Monster Hunter sweatshirt, then a really cool zipper I liked. Um, where is it? There it is. It's right here. So you go ahead and just click download it as long as you have an account. Should be good. Um, yep, I already have it downloaded. Um, and it's pretty much you can just pick and choose anything you would want um, and I'll go through how you um, add them. I think I've added had these shorts like those. Go ahead and download those. And then you can just do the same thing with hair. Do be right hair maybe. Yeah, and I really like this hair. I think I downloaded this previously as well. So you just go ahead download it give you a zip file and it's going to give you that preset and that's exactly what you want um, so once you have everything you want um, this is when you're going to go into vroid um, and import them um, but before we do that for the hair we actually need to do something before we start vroid um, so if you're in windows here um, if you go down the search bar right down here and then press the percentage sign which is just shift five on a normal keyboard and then type in app data followed by a percentage sign. Uh, if you ever had to mod Minecraft, you might be familiar with this. That's how I learned about this. Um, and we need to go back to this folder called App Data. And we'll go to Local Low. And we'll go to Pixiv. It's people who made Vroid Studio, under Vroid Studio, and then our hair presets. So I already have that in there. Um, if we would go to our downloads, um, that's pretty much we would extract this. Um, we would get this folder and we need to find the folder. Yep, so that's what's holding the materials and the actual model. And then we would pretty much just drag it into there and we'd be good to go. Um, so we'll go ahead and open up Vroid Studio wherever you have it located. I don't have a shortcut right now because I'm running a uh, VM. Um, so we'll open up Vroid Studio. And we'll make a new avatar real quick. And then with our hair editor, we're not gonna mess around too much. Um, you should see, yep, it's right here. Uh, if you have any other presets in there, it'll show up and you can choose. Um, I haven't really messed with the export as preset, so I'm guessing you can, I'm guessing that's how people make these, is they make their own custom hair and you can export it, which is pretty cool because you can share you know, your presets with people if you want. Um, so we have that selected, uh, and then we go import from preset. And there we go, that's that hair we got. And then pretty much, if you want, don't like the color, I, I like it, it looks pretty good, actually. Um, you would go into there and then pretty much just change the base color, so if you wanna make it green or something crazy. Um, and you just gotta make sure you change the shade color too, because I find that doesn't really, um, it does it, it adds more, basically. Um, and especially if you export it to Blender or um, using cats, um, I notice it doesn't carry over the shade color, so it can kind of be deceiving. Uh, but that's how you import hair. It's a pretty cool feature. Um, if you have any questions on how to do it, please let me know in the comments down below. So again, that was how you import hair uh, with Windows. I actually use a Mac, um, and I, I couldn't actually find a way on how to do it. I'm sure there's a different method. I might, If people want to know how to do it, I might look into it more and see if you can do it. Um, but I can get around it pretty easily because um, I can boot up Windows and have no problem with that. Um, I did have some issues importing the clothes on the Windows client uh, on my Mac. Um, so I actually had to switch back to my Mac. And it won't matter for the clothes because um, um, it's pretty. It's just pretty much just importing a picture into a texture file. Um, 
So it, it's not gonna matter if you're using Windows or Mac for this part. Um, so we'll go ahead and add those clothes we added, that Monster Hunter hoodie that looked really cool. Um, so we'll go over to our clothes. Right now she's got nothing on. It was based off the sweatshirt it looked like. Um, so with the different clothes, you kind of have to pick and choose which texture they were using. You might not always know. Um, and that, that could be an issue. Sometimes it's pretty obvious, like this one was obviously the hooded sweatshirt, um, but some of the other ones, you're not 100% sure on what it is. And sometimes they tell you, which is nice, uh, but other times it's in Japanese and you have no idea. <laughs> um, so there's two layers, the, the default la image and then the layer. So if you right click this on the layer and import it, it's gonna pretty much add it on top of the sweatshirt um, or whatever other model you're using. Um, if you wanted to get rid of it completely and just completely take it over, um, we do on the default. So if we right click the default image, then imports, and then we go ahead and find our download. I think it was this one right here. We'll import it there. You'll see it took over the sweatshirt and it kind of got rid of the shirt underneath, um, which I don't really like. Um, if you want to use it as a model, it's, it's not great. Um, but I mean, for some clothing, it works really well. So if we'll go ahead and control Z. So if we right click it, import it on the top layer, we can see, yeah, it's still kept the sweatshirt. And I, I like that style a lot better because um, it just looks a lot better. Um, so that was the hoodie. I think we also got some shorts we'll add. Um, so with these, it looks like it was just the pants. Um, there's not really much you can do there. So go back to our texture, uh, pants. And then I, this one, we definitely have to replace uh, the, the default image um, just because I think it, we don't want the, the bottom pants to be showing. Um, so import, find those shorts. There we go. And then I also had some shoes just so I can we can show everything. Um, so these are a little bit different. Um, I also notice with the newer version of Vroid, it's being really weird. It doesn't usually show the shoes until you go to texture. And then it switches to what shoe type it is. And then I go back and then now it's all my shoes, which is really weird. Um, I don't know if it's like a bug with the newest version of Vroid Studio, but I've noticed it not only on my side, but my sister started using this as, as well. And uh, she actually ran into that issue too. So I think I had some textures for a sneaker. Um, and again, this isn't like anything crazy. Um, you could probably do this on your own. Maybe not something this complex. This would be this would take a little bit. Um, but for stuff like shoes, shoes I don't really think have to be too complex. Um, but just to have something uh, as a base is definitely good too. So we'll right click imports. And I think we had a shoes texture right there. Yep. And there we go, pretty cool. Um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about importing and exporting and all that fun stuff with Vroid textures uh, and clothing textures and, or hair, uh, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Uh, if you have any other recommendations or uh, video um, requests, let me know. I'll, I'm doing that as much as I can. Uh, I promised uh, some uh, a commenter on making a video about an anatomy in the future um, which I'm probably not the greatest teacher at that um, since I usually use 3d models uh, but I actually have been doing some stuff on the side um, to try to get better at that as well so I'll probably be showing off a couple of videos about that um, but that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe like the video um, and I'll see you guys in the next video